<coughs> well, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And in this video, we're going to do our first proper villain. Um, and we have the Red Skull. We're going to be hailing Hydra all the way through this one, I'm afraid. So, let us get on with it, shall we? First, what we need. Drop it on black. Okay, I should have really primed this fella in black, but I didn't. <coughs> it would have been much easier if I had done, but I didn't. So, uh, deal with it. Okay, so, <coughs> what I think I'm actually going to do, when I've got this brush out and everything I'm going to be doing, near enough is black, I'm just going to slap some paint on using this brush it's not got it's not fun it's no, it's not funny it's not clever but it does the job of sorts um once i start running out of paint on this brush i can then abandon it and um yeah but it's gone <coughs> So I can get rid of this brush now and pull out another one. Give it a little bit of a rinse, shake the excess water off, and we can come into it now with a little more curl and What's happened here? What has happened here? This camera's just cut out on me. And I don't know why. Bear with me. Okay, let's try again. I don't know quite what happened there, but my uh, camera just cut out. Hmm, weird. So let's once more back into the black. Um, now I think I might try something a little different with this fella. Um, the Tesseract is a bluish colour. And that is basically what he's holding. So I'm thinking. What I might do um, I think also I'm going to give him black gloves. I'm thinking what I might do is try a little experiment as it were with object source lighting. Mm. Well, it's not my usual go to method. It's not something I normally do, but I'm experimenting with these minis. Trying to do them better than I normally would. Because it's Marvel. And Marvel's awesome. If it was DC, I'd probably just get some contrast paints and... There we are, but it's not, it's not. <laughs> I'm not a DC fan. I like the odd thing with DC, but I enjoyed the um, Aquaman movie. Even though the Aquaman movie was basically the backstory for um, the Submariner, which is Marvel. Hey ho. And the only one I can actually say in DC that I do like in the prop in normal bog standard everyday um 
DC. I'm not talking about, you know, Vertigo comics. I'm just talking, which is the more adult version of DC. Because there's a couple of them I do like, to be honest. Lucifer for one. Um, but, um, you know, they're not your normal DC for, um, I think the, the only one really I, I can honestly say that I like and would watch is Batman. Um, so, I'm interested to see what, uh, you know, one from, um, What's it called? Twilight does with the with the chance to play the Cape Crusader. I don't know how they're going to do it, but hopefully they do a good job. I haven't seen uh, Batman vs Superman yet, or the Justice Justice League movies, or movie rather, but comes in time, comes in time. Right, so that's <clears throat> his coats, his boots, well, basically all his clothing done. Um, for the for the base, I'm going to start off with Rhinox Hide. <clears throat> now I know what he's actually standing on is um, metal, but we'll be going over that with a little something more. There's a blooming fly in this flat and it's doing my nutting. I can't get rid of, rid of the damn thing. It's really annoying. It's found its way, as you can see, into the booth. What's... Uh, one of these days I will get the damn thing. I like Roadrunner with um, Wild Coyote. I would, it's like that, but I don't want to... Um, elevate the flight to hero them Because it's pain the flipping neck. <laughs> but, oh well. My favourite series of cartoons, Roadrunner. I do love them. Foul mouth thing it was. It must have been to be bleeped out so many times. Neep neep. I really hope I don't get one of them blooming. Um, copyright infringement because I went beep beep I was talking about Roadrunner. Is beep beep copyrighted for Roadrunner? I don't know. No. Why have I gone into this copyright infringement thing? It never usually bothers me. Oh. Right, so all that is done. I'm trying to do the edges as well in brown. That will do nicely. Hopefully, is what I've painted him so far is dried off it. Looks really patchy, but I'll get there. It's behaving more like a blooming wash than actual picotta paints. I must have had too much wash on my brush. <clears throat> right, so that's that done. What I'm going to use now is for the Tesseract Drakenhof Nightshade and for his head let's have a bit of Carolberg Crimson. So we'll start off with his head first of all and get my smallish brush I'm 
There we go. I don't think I'm going to do much to his head, to be honest. I don't think it needs it. Just the wash should suffice. But we'll see what it's like when it dries. Well, sometimes I do like the effect of washes just over white. We'll see. We'll see. I might have to put another wash on. Oh, I may have to just paint it, I don't know. But they're the choices we've got. <laughs> Carol Burke Crimson. I will do this. Or the Tesseract. Now the Tesseract is a glowing item. Which is what I was saying about it. Doing a little bit of object source lighting. But I will also be doing some highlights for this as well. But I'm also going to go over all this clothes in blue or in this wash because I did say that blue is a good shadow colour, highlight colour for black so anywhere where you want to highlight black just various shades of blue also you've got a um, the finish you're looking for. Um, it's also a good shadow colour for white. I really should have got my bigger brush out for this, but never mind. I've got a little bit more control and can place it carefully where I want it rather than just slap it on. So, there we are. All I need to do now is wait for this to dry and then we can get back to um, highlighting. Hopefully, this will dry nicely. I'm going to do his shoes as well. It's not going to do anything for the shadow areas like a wash usually does. Um, this is just to tint the black because it's gone on just like a, a wash. So it's mainly Near enough of just a pretty watery colour at the moment. Now I also want to make sure that the Hydra symbols on his upper arm are not um what's the word I'm looking for? They're not um Not uh, swamped with this colour. I thought that was a better word. That'll do. I don't know what colour the hybrid symbols are through the red. Might be gold, I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, I nearly had that fly. I'll get the bugger. I'll get the bugger. Um, yeah, the red. So. Um, it may end up that I'll be coming back into and painting red anyway, so I can do that. What I want to do though, before anything else, is just come into this and remove some build up and wash. You know what? I'm going to have to come in and this out with paint that's not going to cut the mustard that <laughs> so never mind we tried uh, once it's dried we'll come back and get highlighting right this has now dried 
and he's looking quite good. I have missed a bit uh, with the black paint unfortunately which means I am going to have to have to go in and put a slight correction to that but there we are I think that is all the issues I have it looks like it's just wipe down that so yes we decided that we are going to come along and paint the skull and not just leave it pink um, because that's that's what we've got we've got a pink skull not red skull so the red we're going to be using to start it off is not that scream of pink it's Wazdaka this is going to be the base colour. Um, pop some of that on the palette when I can find the brush. There we are. Yeah, we don't need a great deal of this. It's, it's for his head, which doesn't uh, constitute a large area of mini. So we don't need to get too much on the brush so what we're going to do is get a little bit of water on the brush into the paint and let's oops let's get going and paint all over right, I'm keeping away from the eyes or the eyeballs because I can actually get into paint the eyes which are just going to be white later on so I'm trying my best to watch where I'm painting around the eyes here around the just smudges over the eyes You know what, I just can't wait. <laughs> um, so, let's slam this paint on. We need the red skull, so we need a skull that is a red colour, not pink. The way the um, Carol Blue Crimson was leaving it. Not happy about that. I was hoping that the Caribou Crimson would do a much better job on the skull than it did. But, oh well, not to worry. Now, before I carry on, I'm going to get the... Where the flipping neck is it? <laughs> I want to get the uh, white scar. This is, as you may have noticed, a no brush paint. Um, I bought it in error ages ago, thinking it was just a normal white scar, but unfortunately, it wasn't. It's a little too. I'm going to try and hold this upside down. Attempt to get in with the, the white paint. And colour. The eyeballing. There we are. That's what we're doing there. So we have that. Next, the Tesseract. We're going to be using Lothan Blue for the Tesseract itself. Again, we don't want a great amount. I'm going to just Get 
go over the edges and kind of like pick out some areas that I've in fact better it's paint it all stop faffing about paint it all <laughs> um now the thing about the way I've got this set up is it's at an angle um, and trying to find the right angle um, to get it so I can see it is difficult in itself but I'm also trying to get an angle where you can see it So if I put it right in front of me like I used to, I can't get at it because of the sides of the boxes. Sides of the airbrush booth. They're actually shooting in now. Is what I meant to say. So what we what I've decided on is painting it at a slight angle. So hopefully this light angle will allow it to look a little more interesting and easier to see. Now I'm not sure whether that is right or not. Uh, and then and here you can see I'm um, putting white, I'm mixing white in with this. Um, Lothar and blue and now I'm just adding some swirly effects with dots and we're not trying to get a um, set design it's just making some little swirls we we'll patterns if we can and then we also paint the edges it just takes the flat look away from the faces of this cube And once that's done, um, we will be highlighting this up to white <laughs> for a change. Mm -hmm. 